Welcome to Wind Info. Poison dart frogs. Dendrobates is a genus of poison dart frogs native to Central and South America. IT ones contain numerous species, but most originally placed in this genus have been split off into other genera such as Adelphobates, Amirega, Andinobates, Epipedobates, Exidobates, Orophaga, Philobates, and Ranitomea, essentially all the brightly marked poison dart frogs, i.e., excluding the duller genera in the family like Calostetheus and Hyloxylus, leaving only five large to medium sized species in the genus Dendrobates. The generic name dendrobates is derived from the Greek words dendron, dendron, tree, and baits, baits, one that treads, meaning tree climber. Dendrobates tinctorious require a high humidity of 75% to 100%, along with some ventilation. The vivarium should be misted with the chlorinated water at least once a day, and never allowed to fully dry out. A temperature between 70 and 80 degrees in the day is required, with a drop to as low as 65 degrees at night. Dendrobates and philobates are small, diurnal frogs living in Central and South America, that are brilliantly colored solid red, yellow or orange, or patterned with bold stripes or crossbars. These bright patterns are believed to act as warning colors to ward off predators. Dendrobates tinctorious is found under cover, such as rocks and moss near streams. It usually stays on the ground, but is also found at heights up to 5 meters in trees. Mating behavior starts with the male calling from his position in tree leaves or on the ground. Okay. Now let's see some important facts about this frogs. Are dendrobates or is poisonous? There are no negative impacts of these frogs on humans, although the skin of these frogs is highly toxic and unprotected contact can be dangerous. Can blue dart frogs kill humans? The toxins in the skin of a poison dart frog can be poisonous and even fatal to humans. Are poison dart frogs aggressive? Poison dart frogs are very territorial animals and can be very aggressive towards each other. It's hard to think of any species of frog as being aggressive, but poison dart frogs certainly are. What is unique about the poison dart frog? Many other frog species camouflage themselves in the wild, but the poison dart frog uses its brightly colored skin to warn predators that it is unfit to eat. The frog's skin secretes a dangerous poison that can paralyze and even kill predators. Where do you find poisonous frogs? Poison dart frogs are endemic to humid, tropical environments of Central and South America. These frogs are generally found in tropical rainforests, including in Bolivia, Costa Rica, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Venezuela, Suriname, French Guiana, Peru, Panama, Guyana, Nicaragua, and Hawaii. Is there a frog that kills you if you touch it? The golden poison frog is considered to be the most poisonous animal in the world, producing enough nerve toxin at once to kill 10 humans. Do frogs bite humans? The answer is yes. Several species of frogs actually enjoy the sensation of biting, even though most frogs don't. African bullfrogs, Pacman frogs, and Budget's frogs are among them. Why are they called poison dart frogs? These frogs are commonly known as poison arrow or poison dart frogs because native Indian tribes reportedly rub their arrow tips on the frogs' backs before hunting. How do frogs kill you? They are only dangerous if they bite you, injecting their venom into your bloodstream. The golden poison frog has no such limitation. It keeps its poison in glands beneath its skin, so any reckless human taking a bite would be in trouble immediately. The poison is called batrachotoxin. Do frogs carry diseases? Turtles, frogs, iguanas, snakes, geckos, horned toads, salamanders and chameleons are colorful, quiet and often kept as pets. These animals frequently carry bacteria called salmonella that can cause serious illness in people. Do frogs poop? Yes, frogs do poop. Like all animals, frogs need to get rid of waste after eating. They do this by excreting feces or poop, however, it's not the fact that frogs poop that will surprise you. Are frogs good luck? As the frog is a symbol of fertility, potential, and prosperity, they are naturally symbols of good luck. When all of these qualities are wrapped into a bundle, you have a winning combination to bring more good fortune into your life. Anyhow, 
If I get any good luck frog which helps to increase likes, shares and subscribers to my channel I'll adopt one. That's all about today's video. Let's meet in next video with interesting facts and information. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel.